The thing that I value more than anything is three things. It is authenticity, it is transparency, and it is vulnerability. Appreciate you for being here. Let's get into the video. I find it really hard to see gray areas. Everything's black and white for me. It's one of the downfalls of autistic thinking is things are black and white. You see things in your worldview or someone else's worldview and that doesn't make sense. Or at least that's how I do it. One thing that I'm doing at the moment because I don't do things in halves, I'm all or nothing, black and white. I am decluttering, removing as much bullshit as possible at the moment. I guess we're going through a spring cleaning because it is the 2nd of September. It was Father's Day yesterday and coming out the other side of burnout, I'm not fully out of the woods yet, but I'm working on it. With that, I'm exhausted. And I've spent so much time on this stupid thing. And I fucking hate it. I hate it so damn much. I hate the notification that I get every single morning on a Monday saying that you've done six and a half hours. It's up 10%, it's down 9%, whatever it is. But I average around six and a half hours of use per day. That's disgusting. I hate that. I hate that my business is online for content purposes, for lead generation, stuff like that. And majority of what I do is in person. I am decluttering, simplifying, systemizing my life as much as I can right now. And I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride with what I'm doing. The first thing that I'm doing, because it was Father's Day yesterday, I noticed how many times that I picked up my damn phone whilst I was with my family, whilst I was with my fiance and my daughters, and I distracted myself away for a quick hit of dopamine, watching some God knows what on social media. I can't even remember what I watched yesterday. There was nothing that was truly impactful, but I somehow spent six and a half, seven hours on my phone yesterday with nothing to show for it. I'm so sick of that vicious cycle that I'm caught in. So I'm doing things like using fidget toys to be able to help keep me as engaged as possible, to be able to stop all of the stims that are going on because ultimately that's all the phone is, is a giant stim device. So instead I went out and I got this. I went and got a Nokia brick. It cost me $35 from Big W today. It has all the functions that I need for a phone. I don't need it to be a media center. I don't need to be connected to the every single person that's on the fucking internet all at once. I don't need to be getting, you know, 10, 15, 20 messages a day from people, getting all these notifications from all the different socials for the content that I've put out over the last two years. I don't need to have, I don't need to have people to have that much access to me. And for me to see a notification and go, ooh, dopamine, jump on it, open it up, you know, message someone back, not a lot of the time lately because I've been so burnt out, not even replying back to people. Like I've got probably, 100 comments to be able to go back into the sleep token video that I put up on YouTube. And the reason why it's dying in the ass in views is because it's not in the favor of the algorithm gods because I'm not interacting with it anymore. And it's stuck at like 13,000 views. It's frustrating. I'm sick of, I'm sick of so much. God, I'm just so fucking done with so much of my life. I don't want to be this person anymore. I don't want to be the reactive person that goes, oh, no notification. Fuck that. I'm done. I'm so done. And same thing with all of the, the clutter that I have around me. I look around, I'm like, why did I need to buy, for instance, impulsivity, impulsivity controls? Why the hell did I need to buy this? This thing costs, I think $35. It's meant to be an AI tripod of some kind that will track your face as you're using it. It's a big, massive piece of shit that doesn't work. I have another tripod there. I have a tripod over there. I've got an extendable tripod that goes to 1.7 meters. I've got so much shit around me because my impulse control is so bad that I'm decluttering so much of it. I can't wait to go through my office cupboard with all my camping crap and get rid of what doesn't, what doesn't serve me anymore. Same thing, go through my office admin crap of all of my old taxes. I'm pretty sure I've got financial year 2020, no, seven years in Australia. So I think I've got 2016 still sitting in there, 2015 maybe that I need to get rid of. This is just, that's just crap. There's so much crap. So I'm gonna go through a spring cleaning and I'm gonna update you guys with how I'm doing with that sort of stuff. Also, as for the member only stuff, now that the channel is monetized, I want to put together something for you guys out there that is based on all of the shit that I'm an expert in. So the unconscious, um, going through fat loss, muscle gain, all of like all of the stuff that I can go through. I can't get to it right now because I don't have access to that part of my brain in my memory at the moment, but whatever. I wanna to put together something that's 
a storage of information that I have through all of my hyperfixations, through all of my expertise that I've collected over the years and to be able to put it in a very cheap localized place so you guys can have access to it and you can ask for stuff from me. So I'm gonna be changing the way that I do a few videos. There's gonna be more members only sort of stuff. And again, I wanna keep it low subscription cost because I'm done dealing with the high end people, but I'm also done with dealing with freeloaders as well. There's a lot of things that are gonna be changing and the members only videos for, you know, like, it's basically gonna be coaching videos is what they are, to be able to understand the unconscious, how to change limiting beliefs, how to change values, how to like just change work, that sort of stuff. There's gonna be a lot more philosophical stuff. There's gonna be a lot more, uh, I guess, mythopoetic sort of stuff that I'm gonna be putting out because that's what absolutely sets my heart on fire. That's the stuff that I wanna talk about. So that's the stuff that you guys are gonna to listen to. And I really hope you guys resonate with it. But if you don't, oh well, you can stick around for whatever you guys came in the first place. So long story short, it's springtime, it's time to declutter, it's time to have a spring clean. Part of me spring cleaning is getting rid of dopamine addictions because I'm fucking sick of that shit. And I hope you are too, because honestly, we don't need this idiot rectangle. We don't need this anxiety rectangle. We need something that can function as a phone, go back to how things used to be 20 years ago and stop giving people so much access to us. This implicit, just, there's, there's no boundaries. It's like, well, I see you're online. I said, why couldn't you message me? That sort of shit. I, no more, no more. I'm done with that. Setting up a very hard, hard and fast boundary right now. I don't want to be a part of any of that. So I think that's where we're going to leave it. Short, sharp one, spring clean time, get after it, get some dopamine, get some small wins. If you struggle with the TISM or you struggle with ADHD like myself, do something teeny tiny. Maybe it is getting out of bed and putting new clothes on. That's a win. Maybe you need to be able to filter out a few little dopamine things to be able to help you get to where you want to be. Because if you're not functioning well, like I'm not at the moment, and I've had eight coffees today, which have done bugger all, I'm off my stimulants at the moment because I just, I couldn't be bothered. Um, probably why I seem so erratic. I can't even remember where I was going with that. Anyway, fuck it. That's where it is. See you next week. You know what you need to do. Like, comment, share this around, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for all of the awesome things coming out of Rise because we're only just getting started. Thank you so much for being here watching another video. Much love, take care, and follow me to Rise Higher.